Okay, so here we are testing the output of a wheel speed sensor. Now if you just pan down there for you, you'll see that the wheel's turning. We've got the car, the engine running, and the car's in drive. So we've now got an output via the drive shaft. The turn ring is rotating and the wheel speed sensor is picking up the, uh, the speed of the wheel and that's been displayed on the oscilloscope. You can see here we've got an AC output and the, the height of each of the peaks and troughs uh, dictates the output voltage. And if we give it a bit of a rev, we'll see the increase in output voltage and the frequency of the signal both increase. And the ECU interprets that as an increase in wheel speed. It's able to determine the actual wheel speed from that signal. Each of those peaks on that graph and each of the troughs is generated by one of the peaks on the turn ring. And if one of these peaks doesn't quite look the same as the others, it means that that one of the turn ring uh, lugs is damaged and it would need to be replaced. That could upset the ECU and it could actually flag an ABS fault. Okay, real easy.